What's up, Nasset High School? We love Nasset! What's, What's up, up Nasset? Hi, Nasset. Yeah. Have, Have a, a good, good school year, guys. Welcome to Nasset News! Hello, I'm Josie Gaynor, here with your Nasset News announcements and lineup. Be sure to check your emails every day to keep in contact with your teachers. Check in with the morning announcements for a weather review, to-do list, and some inspirational videos. Also, be sure to submit a minute-long video of your quarantine activities to be Nauset's morning welcome guest. Share how you've been keeping busy during this time. In other news, today's lineup is Top Story with Jordan Auer, College Notebook with Isabel Merle, Things to Do with Kylie Shelley, Talent Search with Margaret Dixon, Health Tip with Max Lang, and Special Report with Carson Winslow. This has been your lineup with Josie Gaynor. On to the next segment. Hello, I'm Jordan Auer here with this week's top story. Today I'll be talking about what seafood is actually considered local here on Cape Cod and can be found in various fish markets across the Cape. Oftentimes, people think codfish is caught in the local Cape waters. However, it has not been that way in many years due to the depletion of the cod population. So the cod often comes from longline fishing boats in Iceland. The fish caught in local waters these days is skatefish and dogfish, but fish markets do not sell these fish because they are called trash fish and people here on the Cape do not eat them. They are often sent to Europe. Additionally, depending on the time of year, the tuna in the fish markets are local along with the striped bass and bluefish. The scallops, clams, oysters, and lobsters are all local and fresh seafood choices. We want you to support our local seafood fishermen because we are excited to still be open and um, you can get the freshest fish still at NASA Fish Market and it's excellent. We're open every day 9 to 6 so please come in and visit us and uh, we're home of a king size lobster and um, we're here every day and we appreciate your support and your business um, and we love it so at the end of the day. Thank you for coming in. This has been your top story. I'm Jordan Auer, and I hope you have a great weekend. Hello, I'm Isabel Merle here with this week's College Notebook. Today I'll be discussing a few of the best colleges for nursing. Villanova University in Pennsylvania is a great school for nursing. With an acceptance rate of 29%, Villanova is a selective school. Villanova offers unique research opportunities and clinical experiences in simulation labs, hospitals, and clinics to its nursing students. Next, Clemson University in South Carolina is a great option for those looking to go into nursing. Clemson is a moderately selective school with an acceptance rate of 47%. Clemson's nursing program receives a $2.7 million grant, which is why their program is so exceptional and highly ranked. Lastly, Boston College has a 28% acceptance rate. BC's master's nursing program is ranked number one in Massachusetts. Through a holistic educational approach, clinical placements, and academic programs, BC does a great job of immersing their students into the workforce early. All of these schools are great options for students looking to major in nursing. I'm Ms. Morrell, thanks, and have a great weekend. Hi, welcome back to another interesting home video of Nauset News. I'm Kylie Shelley with your things to do. Now I know this break is getting to all of us. We're missing our friends and life in general, I have a few suggestions to make your stay away just a little bit more interesting. Though it's labeled a stay in place, you're not locked inside. Believe it or not, you can leave your house. You could explore the woods around your house. You could build a fort out of trees, fallen branches, leaves, you know, like a pillow fort inside even. You can even make a rope swing on one of your big trees in your backyard. You never know. You can rearrange your room and organize it since I know most of your rooms are messy since we don't have anything to do. And it's never too late to clean out your closet and donate clothes. But you could even upcycle a few of those and create two toned articles of clothing or even a t-shirt quilt. Maybe you're one of those people who likes to stay inside in bed on those gloomy days. I'm guilty. I have a few suggestions for a show and a movie for you. 
Ozark is a show on Netflix about a family who comes in contact with a group of people who, let's just say, are very clean. Are you in for a couple days of suspense? That show's for you. Maybe you're someone who likes this post-apocalyptic sci-fi type movie. What Happened on Monday is a suspenseful movie about a family with septuplets, that's seven identical children, in a world which a family is limited to one child. So what do they do? They all live the exact same life every day. But what happens when one of them goes missing? You'll have to watch to find out. And I know for me, when I'm watching anything, whether it be YouTube, Netflix, a show on TV, I always have a snack somewhere close. And 90% of the time, it's my favorite one, which is kettle corn smothered with melted Nutella. You know, it may be messy, but it is spot on. I hope your Corona vacation passes by quickly. I'm Kylie Shelley, and this is your thing to do. See you next week. I'm Max Lang, your host for Health Tip this week. The initial strength test, or IST, is the fitness test used to gauge the readiness of Marines and enlisted members of the Marine Corps Delayed Entry Program. It consists of pull-ups, crunches, 40-pound ammo can lifts, and a mile and a half run. Despite being the physical standard for a combat-ready amphibious military, you can very easily hold yourself to and exceed these standards. The minimums are as follows. Two pull-ups for men are a 12-second flexed arm hang for women. 44 crunches in 2 minutes, 45 ammo can lifts in 2 minutes, and a sub-1330 run for men or 15 minute run for women. But don't think you're in the clear if you meet these. You need to exceed them to make promotions or to be allowed entrance into the more stringent units like Force Recon or even MARSOC. Improving your time is as simple as running the test over and over again. My first IST run netted me 13 minutes, my latest one was a 940, and my crunches have gone from 80 to 115. It's all about mind over matter. This has been your health tip. Thank you and on to the next segment. Good sportsmanship in sports and in just all competitions really is just very important. It's good etiquette. Um, you really want to be in like good terms with your opponent. You want to have a good competition. And like, for example, in cross country, we see our opponents at the start line and the finish line. We always wish them good luck and uh, congratulate them after the end of the race, whether or not they beat us or uh, came behind us. And I feel like at NASA we have a, well, for a cross country, we have a pretty good grip on this because we won the sportsmanship award for Division Four State. So uh, we probably know <laughs> some good sportsmanship, but um, for the fans, uh, it's really important that they, you know, cheer for each team, whether it's in, in any sport, really, um, you know, it, you just got to cheer like a good play or, you know, it's never really good etiquette to uh, like, say like obscene things towards other teams so sports sportsmanship is like extremely important when it comes to any competition hi everyone i'm margaret dixon and this week on talent search i've been asked to sing um i will be singing a part from a song called i hope you dance by leanne womack um i hope that everybody is staying safe and this song just kind of it spoke to me uh especially during this time where we're kind of all stuck at home so I really hope that you guys are all doing well, and I hope you enjoy. I hope you'll never fear those mountains in the distance. Never settle for the path of least resistance. Living might mean taking chances, but they're worth taking. Loving might be a mistake. But it's worth making Don't let some hellbent heart leave you bitter When you come close to selling out, reconsider Give the heavens above more than just a passing glance And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance I hope you dance, I hope you dance, I hope you dance, I hope you dance, I hope everyone
everyone stays safe. Thank you guys. Welcome to Nature's Folklore. I'm Carson Winslow, and today I'm reporting in these woods on the story of the young sapling. Legend has it that within these woods lives a hermit who calls himself the young sapling. Story has been told that unlike the wild and adventurous kids in town, the young sapling was very shy and preferred to spend his free time outdoors in the woods, being creative and building forts. One day, a group of rambunctious kids came running through these woods. For unknown reasons, the kids destroyed the fort and set fire to the woods, destroying all the trees and homes of the animals. When the young sapling returned to his fort, under all the rubble, he found a perfect pine cone untouched by the flames of the fire. The young sapling then got the idea to plant this pine cone. The next day, when the sapling returned to his woods, he found a new white pine tree growing where he buried the pine cone. From then on, it has been told that if you bury a pine cone, a white pine tree will grow in its place, and the young sapling will bring you good luck for your efforts to protect the woods. This has been Carson Winslow with Nature's Folklore, encouraging you to go out there and enjoy and embrace nature.